Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This video is about the Narcissist Triangulation, which is another game to them, another manipulation tactic, as they use a third person to bend the truth, manipulate the relationships between others to the narcissist's advantage. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about the narcissist personality disorder to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with in your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you overcome narcissistic abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. Triangulation is used by a narcissist to deceive people, to cause rivalry between people. A narcissist triangulates by acting as a messenger between those around them. The narcissist can be exploiting a friend by borrowing a lot of money off them, promising to pay them back, yet playing the victim when it comes to paying them back, or paying them back small amounts and then coming on strong with the pity plays to borrow more. They can borrow small amounts and pay those back, so people begin to trust them. Only the narcissist will then borrow big to then keep making up excuses. Gaslight, pity play, guilt trip, use the I paid you back last time, I just need a little bit more time, or ghost them. While this is happening, the narcissist will be telling everyone around that friend that the friend who is genuine and kept it between the two of them as they respect the narcissist, not knowing the game the narcissist is playing, not knowing what the game the narcissist is up to, as the narcissist will be going around telling anyone who will listen that the friend they are borrowing money off is borrowing money off them. The narcissist will be gossiping about that friend, yet twisting the story, claim all the narcissist is doing to that friend, the friend is doing to the narcissist, with the friend having no clue as to what is happening. So when the friend finally has enough and speaks out, the friend is scapegoated by the narcissist. The narcissist can be using the story to exploit money out of another. The whole, I don't have the rent this week, my friend still hasn't paid me back. Now they're holding a grudge against me because I asked for it back. No, please don't talk to them. I care for them and I don't want to make their troubles worse. Or, I don't have the cash for the rent this week. My ex needs the cash for the kids. I'll make it up to you. Yet they've smeared the ex so you don't talk to the ex to find out that the kids actually get nothing. So you believe the narcissist to be caring and genuine, not realising they're lying and triangulating to exploit others. Narcissists can flatter you to all their friends, family and work colleagues. They can be really nice to all your friends and family, yet tell you that your friends talk about you, your family interfere too much or they keep you so busy that you spend less time with your friends and family who then they live the reality where you've no longer got time for them. However, the narcissist is showering them with compliments. They can provoke you into reacting in front of friends and family so the narcissist can gain more sympathy. Narcissists can shame, criticise, invalidate, humiliate one child while praising another. They can cause sibling rivalry, then blame the scapegoat child. They can cause conflict and rivalry between friends and family members, whoever the narcissist needs, so that the narcissist is winning. Narcissists shame people. It's painful and sometimes embarrassing. They inflict on others to discredit others. So people fear speaking out for who the narcissist is and what is truly happening to them for fear of reactions from the narcissist and for fear of not being believed or fear of humiliation from those around them. Triangulation allows the narcissist to provoke emotional reactions from people so that the narcissist can blame people for their responses so the narcissist can gain sympathy from enablers and flying monkeys, guilt trip people, shame people, confuse or distract people to coercively control others. 
Narcissists will play the hero as they gather your innermost secrets. They will threaten people with those secrets down the line. They will gossip, compare, isolate and alienate people. How do they do this without us even knowing? Killing two birds with one stone. They will often inform a partner of someone flirting with them to create feelings of jealousy, to then tell you that you're insecure, you're too jealous, you're too hung up on your past. If you question them, they will talk about how an ex would have done something for them, which confuses you as they've already smeared that ex to you and told you how much they hate them. So if the ex they hate so much would have done it and they left the ex, they might leave you. So people can then give in to the narcissist demands. People are confused where the original conversation went. We end up feeling jealous and insecure, often losing our boundaries and trying harder and harder to understand and please the narcissist without realising the narcissist is manipulating, lying and playing games with us. So they make us doubt our thoughts, our feelings. If we bring anything up, they make us question ourselves. They will even tell us that we're insecure or crazy or losing our mind. When in reality your instincts are correct, the narcissist gets attention while they gain control of your mind and you slowly lose control of your mind. They will play children off against each other, making one the golden child, the other the scapegoat child. They will alienate children from the healthy parent. Bosses will play co-workers off against each other. Friends will also do this. Recruiting reinforcement. They will lie and smear other people in the smear campaign. They will play the victim so you feel bad for the narcissist and want to help them and protect them, unwittingly taking on the narcissist's opinions and becoming an enabler and assistant to the narcissist in bullying and destroying others, believing the narcissist is the innocent party and the third party is at fault. Splitting. The narcissist will extract information from one person, gossip with another about it. They'll even lie about what one person has said about another. And then when you defend yourself to the narcissist about what that third person has said, the narcissist will go running back to the third party to replay what you said, yet leave out the part you said it in defence. The narcissist will completely miss out the lie they told you about the other person in order to get your reaction. So you feel bad if the other person comes to you about this as you actually said it and you sound like you're doing the word salad trying to explain that the narcissist said this so you said that. The whole they said you said so I said. They use this to control information shared between people. Once they've fueled a rift between people, they will then smear one person to all others. They will play the hero and fake their concerns for you to others to gain sympathy, to play the woe is me victim on how badly you treat them. Hence, people pity the narcissist, which then cuts you off and protects the narcissist's false reality from coming out. So the narcissist can play the victim and the real victim looks like they are the crazy abuser to others. Sometimes the one who sounds crazy is the one trying to explain the truth. For flirt and deny, another to gaslight your reality, to provoke those feelings of jealousy, to provoke your reactions, to create insecurities and self-doubt within you. They'll not validate your feelings or communicate about how you feel. They'll not offer any reassurance as they've done this intentionally as they believe they're entitled to do so. They flirt in front of you, then deny all knowledge and accuse you of being insecure or jealous, hung up on your past. A narcissist will provoke you to get a reaction out of you so that they can distract you by blaming your reaction so you forget about their actions. Five, exclusion. When you're out with friends, they purposefully leave you out of the conversation. They leave you out of the jokes. They leave you out of activities. So you're left feeling excluded, left down, insecure. If you speak up, they'll say things like they need space or projection. You're too obsessive and controlling. So 
you end up questioning yourself. Parents will do this with other family members, co-workers and friends will also do this. A narcissistic friend might leave you out of an event happening, yet make sure flying monkeys inform you that it's happening. They blame a third person as to why you weren't invited. Extracting information and then using it against you in front of others. Again, they will gossip, lie and find out private information. They will shame you in front of other people about this information in a way that those around you might not see what's actually happening. But you know what they said. And if you ask about it later, they will deny to cause you to feel frustrated, angry and to doubt yourself devalue. So they tell you that someone gossips behind your back that they're no good for you. So you don't trust that person. Believe the narcissist. The narcissist might have well made something up that you said, told that third person, got the response of what they said about you and then come back to tell you. As those words came from the third person, it can sound very believable. Again, the narcissist misses out the part of the story where they lied about what you said. They will even put you down by talking about a third party, something that you're insecure about. They will bring up and compliment within somebody else. If you're going through triangulation, grey rock or no contact, remember what they say about you says more about them than it ever will you. How they treat you, how they treat other people says more about them than it ever will you or those other people. Grey rock or no contact is a must when it comes to a narcissist. Do not react directly to them or in front of them and only respond if you need to do so, such as court orders and discuss the subject at hand. Do not let them take you off topic. Suppose you get a chance to call them out on their behaviour when the third person is around. Then ask, they inform me you said this about me, is it true? And watch the narcissist squirm. This depends on the narcissist you are dealing with. Some can be dangerous. If they're using a court system to destroy you and triangulate you against others, stick to facts. Try to have evidence. Do not discuss anything with the narcissist, everything via solicitors and courts. Speak to who asked you the question. Do not look or react to the narcissist. Keep control of your own mindset to avoid the traps of the narcissist, to avoid the narcissist games. Remember, they are doing it to use others, to gain control, to gain attention, to get reactions. If it's all possible, no contact and take back control of your mindset. Narcissists are desperate to control the minds of those around them, When you see the patterns, they cycle around, it becomes easier to break free. No one is safe from the manipulation of a narcissist. The best method to help with triangulation for yourself is to take yourself out of the triangle. Grey rock or no contact, just remove yourself from the situation and stop playing. Narcissistic people find it incredibly hard to play their games with you when you're no longer playing live for you and who you want to be and you don't need to people please or be liked by everyone the right people will love you for you if you cannot go no contact gray rock remove negativity from your life remove those who hold grudges remove those who pull other people down the narcissist cannot play you when you're no longer playing unfortunately they may smear your name to play the victim they might move on to somebody new. Just stay out of it. Always trust your instincts. Even when you're unsure what it's telling you, it will become clear in time. I shall add the other video into the description on the narcissist and their triangulation as it just goes into more detail. I am full for one-to-one coaching. I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the description. If anyone has any signs of a narcissist triangulation game that you've noticed, please do add that into the comments. Thank you very much for listening and go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.